One of the cool things about Excel is its auto uh, autofill feature. Uh, so if you want to add in something like a number or so forth, you can actually easily do that with um, Excel autofill. So let's say, for example, I'm going to type in a symbol number or something like that and press one right here. So you can see that there's one. And if I were to drag this down, you can see that one gets copied over just like this. But here's something else. So if I were to hold, uh, just drag this out, it uh, just uh, dra drags out the same number. But if I were to hold all, uh, uh, sorry, or if I were to hold control on my keyboard, you can see that the number actually changes to 11, 12, and so forth. So you can have a serial number just like this. So if you have something like A1, and then you drag this down, you can see that I'm not holding control or anything right now. It copies down just like this. So if you want to add in symbol number and so forth, like AB1, and so forth, drag this down. You can see that it works quite well, just like that. So AB01 over here. So let me just drag this one out as over here. And you can see that symbol numbers are easily generated just like that inside of Excel using autofill. And another cool thing about is it, if you want to enter days like Sunday, Monday, and so forth, and then drag this down, you can see that they change as well. And if you were to enter full day, then that changes according to that, just like that, as you can see right here. You can also do that uh, uh, by just typing in a uh, random day and then just drag this out. I'm not holding control or anything. And you can see that that works out well as well, just like that. You can also do this with month. So Jan, oh, uh, here we go. Let me just drag this out and you can see that Jan, Feb and everything is there. January. So let's drag this in just like that. And there you go. Also works with date dates. For example, I'm going to say 1-1-1990 and drag this down right here. So you can see that the date scenes as well. So this simply means that the size of the cell is not enough. So let me just drag that out and you can see that the dates are changed as well. So we're going to talk about dates further over there. Uh, you can also do this uh, horizontally just like that. So I'm going to press in one just like that and then click and drag. And then you can see if I were to hold um, uh, control right here, it changes into numbers just like this as well. So that is how you can use the autofill feature inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.